Hi and welcome to a new lesson. In this lesson I wanted to talk about how to import properly files into After Effects from other software, specifically from other Adobe software, for example Illustrator or Photoshop. So as they are from the same house, which is Adobe, Illustrator, Photoshop and After Effects works really well together, they are very compatible and this it's really a big deal because it's really easy to import files into After Effects vector files for example from Illustrator and we can customize them as we please we can animate the parts independently and we can do great things with uh, vector files from Illustrator so this is a really big deal especially when we are going to work with animation as you will see further on the course because as you will see later, it's not so easy to draw things or to illustrate things here on After Effects. It's possible, but it, you won't ever get the same result as you would on Illustrator. Or at least you won't get it as easily as it is on Illustrator. So when we work on an animation, for example, a 2D animation, maybe a cartoon animation, it's way easier if you draw the animation on on Illustrator and then animate it on After Effects which is the main purpose of this software of course so here on this project panel you can see that if we right click you can get this new menu which I showed you before you can create a new composition a new folder you can create a new Adobe, Adobe Photoshop file and bring a new Cinema 4D file and anything that you want and of course you can import any file uh, you can bring uh, a JPG you can bring uh, even an MP3 or any sound file anything that you want in this case we're going to bring a Illustrator file so go to import select on file and I'm going to take this guy here, the, I created this little il uh, illustration, a face illustration and if you click here you can see that you have some options import as and we will get into that later on this lesson right now let's just import it as a footage click on import and you have now the file here you can see that it's, it has the same illustrator icon now if you bring it to the timeline you will create a new composition with these with the settings that this file has this illustrator file has so you can see it's just a face and you can see that it's it doesn't have anything else it's just a single face and if we scale this face and we zoom in you can see that it it starts to get a little messy right here it starts to get very pixelated and to fix that we're going to click on this button right here you can see this icon which is uh, I, I'm guessing it is like a kind of a sun it looks like a kind of a sun and this icon represents the continuously rasterized button if we hit this button you can see that now we, our edges are sharp as it should be because it's a vector file so if we scale this to any amount you will see that the sharp the edges are still sharp because well that is one of the best properties that a vector file has all right now this file can be animated for example I will teach you how to animate on After Effects later, of course, but follow this just for this lesson. I'm going to animate this face. I'm going to create a very simple animation. And you can see that the face is animated. But what if I want all the parts of this face to be independent? If I want to animate this eye, and this eye and the ears and the mouth and the hair everything apart for that I have to go to the illustrator file and change the way I'm importing it so let's erase this 
and let's go to Illustrator now and you can see well I have this face right here and everything is in groups this ear is a group this is a different group the hair is a group each eye is a group the nose the mouth and the main head so as you can see on layers I have only one layer so if I want to import them as separate layers on After Effects which of course will be a big deal when we get to the animation part to the to the animation part which is further on on the course we will need to do that because otherwise we won't get the result that we want of course so all you have to do is to take everything and click on this menu and select release to layers sequence when you do that everything will be placed into different layers so take this all these layers bring them here and now you have independent layers you can rename them if you want I don't I won't do that right now but now save the file and now we will bring it to After Effects again click on import file and select the face and now instead of footage on import as let's select composition retain layer sizes click on import and now you can see that instead of one single file one single illustrator files I have a folder which is called face layers because that's the name of the illustrator file if I open this folder I will have all the layers independently so of course I have this folder and I have a composition which has every layer so I drop this composition into the timeline and when I open it I have all the layers I want so if I take let's grab them all and click here so I can take this ear off the hair the eyes the nose and the mouth everything is separated and of course I can animate everything independently for example I will take the mouth and I will change the position and I created a different animation for this so this will be really important when we get to the part of character rigging and the 2D animation because if we don't separate all the layers we won't be able to work properly we won't be able to rig all the parts of a character so as you can see After Effects works really well with Illustrator and Photoshop and as I said before this is a huge deal because that makes us makes it so much easier to work with After Effects in fact they work so well together that if I go to Illustrator and let's change the hair for example to yellow and the eyes to blue if I go if I save this document and go to After Effects it will change here also so it's really amazing that we don't have to import all over again because if we are all the way into the animation and we realize that we did something wrong that there's something wrong with the character or something we can just change it on Illustrator and it will change here on After Effects even if the object the, the file which is which is which we change is already with an animation so that's really impressive and it's really important but you will see that when we get to work on harder things so it's time to go now to another lesson see you